Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another home video tour. Today we're gonna check out a condo here in uh, the, it's right off of the 250, sorry, the 95 freeway and Jones. So good central location, close to everything. Uh, however, this one is in not the best conditions. This is a condo right here. It's on the second floor, which is a good thing. As a matter of fact, but uh, don't don't get you know too discouraged when you see this video right here. What we're trying to do here is to purchase this property, uh, fix it, and then possibly just flip it or rent it out. So this property pretty much has been trashed. Let me lock myself in. It's just a mess everywhere. But if you can see it through this, you just look at the layout, see the potential that the house can have then, you know, it's an option. Now, let me start from the balcony right here. Some pretty bad conditions. You know, most people, when they see this, they go crazy. Oh my gosh, let me get out of here. This is disgusting. But if you can see through it, you can see the potential, maybe because you've done it before or not. This house, could make a lot of money. I'm gonna go over the numbers and everything also. Put his fixer upper. So you guys can see what kind of money it could make. Now this one's listed for eighty thousand dollars. This one actually looks like it's in good conditions. Not bad. The water heater is good. Um so it's listed for eighty thousand dollars. Okay. You can only purchase this one cash. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna offer on this one. And then you guys let me know what you guys think about this. We even have a fireplace here. Nice. Here's the, here's the way I see it. If I have to purchase a property and have to redo it all, I'd rather it be in this conditions right here versus uh, be all nice and looking good. Because then this means I'm only competing with investors, flippers, and you know I can probably win against them because I'm willing to pay more, since I'm probably gonna rent it out. But, let's check this out. Carpet is disgusting. I mean, you can see it. Uh, everything needs to be ripped out here. Got a nice size pantry. That's good. This needs to be retextured. It looks like they had a hole or something. They kind of tried to put it up. We also have popcorn ceiling on the roof, uh, on the ceiling, which I would get rid of. However, well, as you can see right here, it's kind of, glossy the paint that they sprayed over it it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to remove it but obviously you know we can definitely do that uh remove that remove this popcorn ceiling um open all this all up these cabinets i know they're old and they look bad but these are real wood cabinets this is a good quality cabinet what i would do here is i would take off these hinges replace the hinges uh resurface these with a new paint uh, nice glossy paint and then put them back up and these cabinets are still really good replace this counter it's like the laminate counter right here and maybe put in a nice uh, new sink new undermounted faucet and I'm gonna break down the numbers for this one as well because we do have uh, some numbers to go over in order for this to make sense now one home exactly like this one all remodeled Oh my goodness. Now that's mold right there. Can you guys see? Oh, it smells so bad. It's so dark from the mold. Oh my gosh, I gotta leave. Oh my gosh, that was bad. Oh my god. See what I do for you guys. I want to show you everything. This has to be just trash. I don't know. Maybe these actually work. <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. Beautiful. I love it though. Because this means I don't have much competition when I'm offering on this house. Right. Uh, on this condo. And here's the thing. If you look at what's structural. Windows are actually intact. I don't have to change that. I don't have to change the water heater. 
I just have to replace, you know, uh, redo the bathroom, redo the flooring in here, redo the, um, the paint, take out this, and be done. Walk-in closet, looks good. Now, we don't have power here, so I can't turn on the, the lights, but these, these, <laughs> these showers are actually salvageable. Here's what there is. There is a glazing product that you can put in. You literally just get rid of all the caulk right there, clean it up, make it look decent, right? And then what you do is you, you paint over this after you clean it up with this glaze and it resurfaces it all. It's gonna look brand new once you do this. You replace the things right there, the faucet, the, the water, uh, what's it called? Gosh. Let me know down in the closet. Shower head and everything here, the faucets, everything. Tub faucet, replace it all. And then you just glaze it, put new faucets. This is gonna look like new. Now what we do right here is remove all this disgusting carpet. And then right here we got this, uh, huh. <laughs> I guess they were living without lights here. So it, this is a HOA um, foreclosure, by the way. For those of you who don't know what an HOA foreclosure is, an HOA foreclosure is when the HOA forecloses on the owner of the property because they did not pay the HOA. And uh, <clears throat> and yeah, that's what happened on this property. Now we have a litigation that we have to take care of before we close. And also we have to uh, take care of Everything else. Oh my gosh, the smell in here after I opened that fridge. We got the second bathroom here. We do have a leaky faucet somewhere. I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear the water. Okay. Got the doors just hanging here. These doors will go back in here. I guess they had a cat. Whoever was here was... Uh, was evicted, I'm sure. And then this would be the second bathroom. So we got a two bedroom, two bathroom condo. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this needs to be all gutted out. I don't think I can fix this shower. See holes everywhere. This is ridiculous. Smash that like button, guys. If you like content like this, let me know down in the comments. And uh, I want to show you that. I don't know if I should show you that fridge again. Now that I have the flash on. Okay, let me hold my breath. Okay, let's get out. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Gotta leave this fridge open. There's a reason why. So that when the other inspectors come, they'll smell the mold. They'll run away. <laughs> now I'm the only one offering on it. I don't know if I can do that. But anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for this one. We're gonna go over some numbers right now really quick. So you guys can see what I'm talking about and how much money we can make on this. So we're asking for 80. I could sell this top of the market. I think I can get 150 for this con after after everything. Okay, after I all my holding costs and everything for the property, I think I can get 150 because I, I know there is one home sold for. 152 and uh 152 with condo and uh i per if i purchase this one for 80 i put in maybe anywhere between 20 to 30 depending on what comes out from underneath when you take out all that carpet and everything you probably need to put anywhere between 20 to 30 if you're lucky you don't have anything to adjust as far as plumbing or things like that Probably can get out of it with twenty thousand. 
that includes redoing all the floors, redoing all the bathrooms, redoing all the ceiling texture, all of that. Uh, so if I'm in it, 30 grand. Uh, and then I have some holding costs or closing costs of about uh, 1% because I'm buying cash, so 1% is plenty for tax transfer and things like that. That's about, what is that? $1,000 extra. I'm not even gonna count that. So you're looking at, let's say 31, right? Worst case scenario. If I purchase this one for one, sorry, for 70,000, for example, put in 30, I'm at 100. I can resell it for 152. That will put me at a net profit of, after uh, realtor fees and things like that, probably around, what is it? Three percent of 150, like five thousand dollars, maybe. Let's say six or seven yeah, with closing costs when you sell it. Let's say seven thousand. I'm gonna be at forty thousand dollars net. Uh, in the worst case scenario, if I offer seventy, if I offer a little bit less, no. In the in the best case scenario, I'll make forty grand. In the worst case scenario, no. In the best in the worst case scenario, I'll make forty grand. And then if I sell, if I buy for less, for 60, I'll make 50. It sounds a little bit better. So I think 60,000 is what I want to offer on it. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. I just ran these numbers right now really quick. Obviously I'm gonna sit down and, and run the numbers a little bit better because uh, you can't just do it like that, you know? Uh, but, you know, this that's a ballpark idea of what you want to do when you're investing, you know, try to get something like this that needs to be fixed up. Uh, you can get it for a really cheap price for $60,000, but just buy cash to come out of pocket with the repairs. And then you sell it, you make 40 grand from this. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, and check out uh, the links in the description. If you're looking to buy a resale home, like a fixer up or something like that, I do have a website that shows you all of that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Hope you enjoyed this content. Let me know down in the comments.